Hi everybody, it's Morgan Schick. Welcome to Periscope. Um, I am getting ready to actually go get my hair colored um, because um, I have my shows next week and I cannot have gray ash black roots. Not sexy for me. Um, if you wanna wear your hair natural, totally fine. I just don't want to. Um, so I've had a couple friends and customers, one of them being Lauren, um, who purchased my hide and highlight, high def hide and highlight off of third party resellers. Obviously I'm not on HSN anymore and if you're following me, hi from UK, hi Susie from the UK. Thanks for joining. Um, if you've never seen my periscopes before or followed me before, my name is Morgan Schick. I was a Ford model for 25 years. I became a makeup artist because modeling destroyed my skin and I had to make sure my skin was perfect for work. So I learned how to do my own makeup. I stopped wearing foundation, um, liquid foundation. I started using only concealers as my makeup. I used two different colors, one to bump up the depressions in your skin, The um, the parts where your skin needs to be bumped up a little bit and one where you have it is a perfect coverage for your readiness and stuff like that so um, I wrote a book and then I had my own line on HSN for 10 years and I retired almost six years ago but in February I started again on Evine with a, a patented ingredient called active argon that I'm in love with anyway that was like the fast forward so Lauren bought the Hide and Highlight in Medium, which is what I'm using, off of a third seller, um, I guess eBay or somebody like that, which is perfectly fine if you, these are, um, if they're not opened and no one's touched them with their fingers, they are totally fine. I do not sell them anymore, but you're welcome to buy them. And I'm going to show you today how to easily use them. Any concealer, it doesn't have to be mine, although mine were pigment rich and so awesome. I'm gonna show you how tiny, teensy mounts work. So anyway, so here's how it came. They came like this, little pots. See my logo, Morgan? <laughs> little pots, they stick together. You can open them up, you can unclick them, and then they had a high def powder as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lightest color, and this is a brush that I got from Target. I think it's Target's own makeup brand. They're about $5. Um, I call this a stippling brush, and you're gonna take a tiny bit of this See, look, watch. Do you see how little I'm using? This is pure color, pure pigment. Watch. I'm going into my eye and all the way into my eye socket. Now, obviously, this is going to take me longer than five minutes, but if I were not yapping right now, I could do my entire face with this concealer, and you can see how much is on my brush. A tiny bit. I'm doing the areas where I need my bone structure or I've got a little divot. Like we have little divots right here underneath our, um, our lips. That makes you look like you have little puppet lines. I wanna bounce them up one shade. That's it, you see that? Where you have your temples, between your eyes, right here where it's the nose to mouth lines. Sometimes people have a darker lip. You can just like kind of brush that on like that, right? Then I'm done with the one that I'm going one bouncing one shade lighter, right? And I look a little bit crazy, but stay with me. This is the one that's my ideal color. You can mix these two to get your ideal color. You could do it on your hand. You can do it on your brush. It takes you like four tries and you get your ideal color. Invest in it to get your ideal color. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little, so this is gone, right? I'm gonna just take a tiny bit of this, watch on my nose where I have broken caps. See that? I'm just gonna do that, do that. Do you see, now it's gone. That's why we're using a brush that is a um, synthetic brush because synthetic hairs, they pick up product and then they lay it down. You do not want to use a real hair brush for this. Okay, now I'm doing the ruddiness on my chin. A little bit on my cheek right here. Now, what I'm doing is, and I'm done. I'm allowing my own heat, my 98.6 degree heat, to warm up these pure pigments. If 
I was smearing this and it just went on easily, it means it has too much oil in it. Because I have to warm it up in order for this to blend, then you are going to, you're gonna leave it on your skin to warm it up. Now, you're gonna take your sponge and you're going to blot at it. I don't care what sponge you use. I only believe that using a dry sponge is better than using a wet sponge. Because a wet sponge is already absorbing and it will just absorb your makeup with it and you'll be wasting makeup. I don't want you wasting money. Not on skincare, not on makeup, not on anything. So do you see that I'm just blending this out, right? Blending it out, blending it out. Now I'm doing the lighter color first. And it's just blending in. I'm barely touching my face. Do you see my face is barely moving? Again, if I weren't talking, I would be doing this in five minutes. But I want to talk you through it. So your makeup routine is three to five minutes. Again, we can have this conversation until the cops come home. You do not have to wear makeup. You do not have to wear love makeup. I really want you to love skincare. That's what I want you to love. And that's what I want you to get right is your skincare. Because then what's going to happen is you're not, you're going to have this balanced, beautiful skin for the rest of your life. And you're not going to worry about your age. You're not going to worry about anything else. So, so my skin is done. Look. Okay. Brows. Tom Ford. Lift your temple with clean hands. Fill in. You do not have to have super dark brows. It's just about elongating your brow so what your brow hits where your cheekbone and your jaw is. That like that, um, just that is going to make your face wider, more open, and younger looking. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm gonna take, this is from Maybelline in a light brown, and it is just a brown eyeliner. I'm now, watch this, this is important. My eyes are very close set. I've already opened them up by extending my brows. Now I wanna open them up by contouring with eyeliner. Watch, I'm not going up, I'm going out. Do you see that I am filling this in going out? I am not pulling my eye, I am only using it to stabilize my skin. I'm going out straight out and then I am here's where my crease is right I'm going past my crease and going on to my brow bone and then filling that little area in why am I doing that because I am making my socket bigger if I followed my crease my eyes would be smaller I'm making my look you can just see it look at how that fake contour actually lines up with my brow bone, with my cheekbone, and now makes my eye look wider. That's what I'm looking for for you. So then you do that, and then you just blend it out. You can blend it out with a brush, or you can blend it out with a um, your finger, as long as your, your fingers are clean. I have now just created a wider brow bone, a wider eye socket. I'm going to do it over on this side again. Straight out, follow along your eye line, your lower lid, right? And instead of going up, I'm going out because this is not really an eyeliner for me. This is really a eye brow bone contour called eye contouring. I just made that up. Okay, you see what I'm doing here? You see that? Because it lines up with this, this, and this, it is going to make my eye look bigger. And I'm just blending it out. Now, for intensity, because obviously I've got eye, eye, light eyes, light eyelashes, it's all light, right? I'm gonna take this Clinique eyeliner, and you can use anybody you want, and I'm going to jiggle this into the base of my lash line 
doesn't even have to be perfect. You can see I'm not I'm not doing it perfectly because I'm actually talking to you. Now, obviously this is just a day look. I use I wear this on air. This makeup that I'm doing right now is the same makeup I wear for nighttime, daytime. This is exactly the same makeup I wear when I'm on I'm on TV. I'm going to do the black into my lash line and then I'm going to blend it out. Again, I'm holding my eye. I'm not pulling on it. The eye tissue everywhere on your face is so delicate. I do not want you pulling and tugging on your skin. Okay, so now we can see that I kind of blew this. This side has more. Um, thank you. I I am I'm gonna be 52 next week, you guys. And one of the things that I truly I hope you guys follow me and I hope you guys watch Evine next week because next week I'm debuting this. This is the Active Argon 5-Minute Facial. That is why I have, well, I have good skin because of the facial I invented. Um, I'm keeping my good skin good because I'm not putting um, too much makeup, foundation, acids. I'm not, um, I'm not kind of destroying my skin and then hoping that I can fix it. I'm doing it, nourishing it from the inside, and that's what I want for you too. Okay, I digress. Curl your lashes. Now I want you to curl your lashes once on the outside corner. See, I'm doing it on the outside, and then I move it to the inside corner. So you're actually curling two sides. Outside, inside. Now, if you're like me and you have small eyes and they're kind of deep set, this really works because you want to get your whole eye to be um, to be the curl the lashes on both sides. I'm using the Clinique um, lash primer builder, and that is because I have no eyelashes. They are blonde. That's the irony of my hair color. My hair color is this like ugly ash with white, black, gray in it. And I get it made to be made blonde, and then my lashes are blonde. <laughs> That's just messed up. Okay, I'm going to use Mega Mega Plush, Mega Plush by Maybelline. Um, I've said that I love this for myself because it's got kind of like a bouncy, um, very plush brush. The problem is, is when I'm doing somebody else's makeup, the bounce is not, it doesn't work as well for me. I, I need a stiffer brush when I'm doing someone else's makeup. Can you recommend a good chemical free eye makeup remover that won't dry out your eyes? Okay. So are you in the UK or are you here? Um, I created with Activated Argon Canada. Shoot. Okay. Canada's actually, you've got the body shop. So the body shop has, I'm going to show you in a second, um, a good eye makeup remover. Mm, I have a bottle of it right here. I made an eye makeup remover with activated argon. It's the, it's the oil cleanser um, and it has no chemicals in it. But I am not available in Canada yet. I'm sorry, I'm working on it. I'm exclusive to Evine in the States until next February, and I'm very, very grateful to be on Evine because I love to be able to explain to you why I create something, why I stand behind something, um, why it's working for all of us, that the television model is like Periscope for me. Um, I am fully responsible, can't wait, we can be hopeful. Um, I'm fully responsible for everything I say to you. So let me find that. I make a remover. I had a small one and then I had a big one. Um, it's like cone flower water. If you saw how much stuff I had, you'd be like, how can you find anything, Morgan? You're such a hoarder. <laughs> because I love makeup and skincare and everything. Oh, duh. It was right in front of me. I'm so sorry. So this is 
this is it, radio frequency, what do you think? I don't know what radio frequency is, but I'll look it up. So this is it from the body shop, it's chamomile. This was the eye makeup remover I used before I made my own, or I actually made my own, long story, but I made my own before, but let's get, let's get finished with your makeup. Um, I'm using the um, Pop Beauty in brown, or in like tan, and I'm gonna put my ear to my shoulder, and I, yes, I am wearing an Aviator Nation every day. <laughs> I do not work for them, but I love these um, incredibly bright, fabulous um, sweatshirts. They're super expensive, um, and so I literally got bleach all over this, but I'm gonna still wear it because they're expensive, and I'm gonna wear it into the ground. So your ear is gonna go to your shoulder, and your chin's gonna go up so you can see your actual lip ridge, not your lip color. So, perfect example. Do you see how small my lips look? Because the color line has dropped out because I'm almost 52. Watch this. This is the ridge. What is your ridge? The ridge is the top of the mountain. Of your lip line. Crisscross. And the ridge of my bottom lip. It's about a millimeter bigger. How's that? And then I'm going to use Body Shop. Speaking of Body Shop, gloss in, it doesn't say what color this is, but it's like a peachy pink. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. And then I'm going to use Studio 10. I do not work for these people. I just love this. Um, this is a really pretty um, contour under my cheek and down, under my cheek and down, under my cheek and down. And then I take a tiny bit of it just to like thin out my nose a little bit. But again, if you can see contouring on your face, you did it wrong. You want to not see the contouring. Um, and I'm going to use my favorite cream blush of all time. This is from Stilla. It's called Peony. It's like a warmish, peachish pink. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of it. Now, if we want to discuss cream versus powder in cheeks. Cream versus powder in cheeks is if you've got, if you're doing a lot of coverage on your cheeks, so let's say you've got a lot of ruddiness or you have rosacea. Rosacea is, by the way, it is not a um, diagnosis. A lot of people go to the doctor and the doctors say they have ro rosacea. Rosacea literally in Latin means red skin, rosy cheeks, rose, rose skin. It's not telling you anything. What we wanna know is why. Why do you have red cheeks? Are you using sulfates in your cleanser? Are you allergic to hot sauce? There are a million different reasons why you could have rosacea, but having the diagnosis of having somebody say that you have rosacea, it does nothing for you. So, but if you have red cheeks, we need to figure out on an elimination diet or an elimination of what you're using on your skin or something like that. It's not, that is not the final answer, you have rosacea. But if you are covering redness like I did just now for my friend Lauren who just got these, um, the, the high def hide and highlight, and I'm showing, I just showed her how to use them. If you have that and you just covered the redness, then using a cream blush may take off the concealer. You would want to use a little bit of powder on top. But don't use too much powder, because if you use too much powder, two things happen. Number one, it looks cakey on top, and number two, it dries out your skin. Why? Because when we use powder on our faces, powder is like a blotting oil. All right, now watch. So if I were going on TV right now, I would take this. This is a Whisper Set powder, so this is translucent powder. And I would take a tiny bit on a, a, um, a velour puff, and I would just powder my nose and right here. The center of my face. 
But when you do that, you will dry out your skin, which will start your body to produce more oil in that area. So when someone says to me, I have oily T-zone, I know that they are working to dry out that area, which exacerbates the cycle. Okay, stay with me. When you get a pimple, it is a clogged pore if it's a white head, it is an open clogged pore if it's a black head, and when you get that pimple, if you put on a salicylic acid or an alpha hydroxy or a benzoid, you are drying out the surface of your skin. What does your body do? Your body says, oh my gosh, the surface of her skin is dry. I need to produce more sebum to moisturize from within. But if it's clogged already, you're going to make it worse. You are then creating the imbalance of your skin. So I want you to walk it back. Don't over dry out your skin. Never touch your face, especially with your dirty fingers from the day. Only wash your face once a day at night with a cleanser that has no sulfates, no phthalates, no, no heavy acids, no, no heavy perfumes, because you could be allergic to them, even if it's natural. Don't come to me and say, I've got lavender and tea tree and all these essential oils in my cleanser. You could be allergic to them. They could be creating a, your skin a reaction. It could be the whole reason why you have rosacea. So I don't even care if you just take off your makeup with coconut oil, pure organic coconut oil. Anything for us to walk it back and I want you to do it all for four days then I start to see what your skin really is. Write me, follow me on Instagram. I am 100% beholden to anything that I say to you and anything that I sell to you. And you don't have to buy my products, you don't. I, I'm okay with that. But what I want is your criteria to be up here. Why? Because we live in an overprocessed society, we are putting way too many acids, we are lasering our skin. I'm 52, I haven't had a Fraxel laser. I used to do a clear and brilliant maybe once a year, but since I started using activated argon, I'm not getting it because my skin, I, my skin's never looked this good in my entire life, even when I was a model. So, I always talk too much, I'm so sorry. I totally value your time and I am sorry that I'm a yappy girl. But I do feel like I gave you guys some good information. How long have you been using Active Argan? Since almost a year. I got my first samples, this right here, a year ago, uh, November. And then I signed the deal to go, I started on Evine in February. So this next February, it will be one year. So this is what I started with, the pure oil, activated argon. Now there are, there's a cleanser, there's, there's all these products, but they all started with this patented, ozonized, medical grade, oxygenized molecule. And it's complicated, but it's worth it because it's a process of an organic argon that it's not adding any more chemicals. And let me tell you something. You may be gorgeous, you may be 30, you may be 40, you may be 18. But when you go through menopause, like I did four years ago, your hormones go crazy. And I am sitting here with thousands of dollars worth of products that have ingredients that are hormone disruptors. And when your hormones start to get disrupted, it's a mess. <laughs> it takes you out of your head, it takes you out of your self-esteem, it takes everything, everything, there's nothing sacred, like you feel like your whole body is betraying you. So having a process that's patented that takes an organic argon oil and makes it six times stronger, so it's hydrating, so your skin and your, it's got this like juiciness, this integrity, it changed everything. I really think that it came to me at a time when I was ready to go back and have my own line again. And then they, this company, the company that has this patent is my old partner. When I was on HSN 10 years ago, um, I had a partner because if you know anything about me, I'm a total spaz. It's very hard for me to focus and 
So I had a great fulfillment partner. I created every product. I created every product. I, I, everything. But they helped me with the labs. I had 11 different labs. I can barely call my friends, my uh, school's, my daughter's school when they're sick. I forget. It's like two o'clock and they're like, ah, is your daughter gonna be at school today? And I'm like, oh, totally forgot to call you. So I had a partner who was my business partner and he and his company did all of, I know, laugh until we cry. <laughs> so he helped me with my relationship with HSN. They did the contract negotiations. They did the, you know, fight for the right dates and times and hours and hosts and all that kind of stuff, stuff that I'm not good at. What I am good at is helping you navigate what it means to care about what's going on in your inside and understanding we live in a visual society and it matters whether you look like you care about yourself enough to present the best you. You do not need to look like a Kardashian. I do not have pumped up lips. I have no fillers in my face. I will tell you everything I do that's fake is my hair color because I'm going right now to get my hair color done. Um, I will be 100% honest and 100% accountable for anything I say or sell to you. So if you're following me on Instagram at Morgan Schick, M-O-R-G-E-N-S-C-H-I-C-K, or if you're writing me or you're on Facebook, okay, I'm going to tell you, Facebook, I suck at Facebook. Almost every time I go on Facebook to write someone back, I delete my account by accident. So the, I do reserve the right to be a mess on Facebook. But if you direct message me on Instagram, I, 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 that I don't screw up. But Facebook, for some reason, I'm not smart enough for Facebook. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, time to go. Loves y'all. Have a, an amazing, um, thank you. I feel like I am a total proof. I should be the person who, well, started out with this. And then I had my own four layer facial, five minute facial, and then we made this. And this is the four, these are the four layers. So yes, I am the perfect person to be doing this line. And know what else? The one thing, I was just gonna say that. Oh gosh, I wish I could read your name. Cause I, I'm waiting for you in Canada, I know, I'm so sorry. Authentic integrity. That's all that's left, don't you think? Authentic integrity. If we're not um, beholden to everyone that we are sharing, I don't mind people making money. Like everyone has to pay for their living. But if you are doing something that you're just doing it for the dollar, then I don't think that feeds your soul. Um, I literally am going to go door to door and it's gonna happen in Canada too and everywhere else for every woman to feel. Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Dang, I wish I had, where are my glasses? Oh, here. Here we go. Now I'll see you guys. Oh my gosh, and they're so dirty. Yikers. Um, if we are to do anything in this world, it is that we have to be accountable for everything we say and do. And um, I, again, I don't have a problem with people making money. Um, and I can only tell you what works for me, and if it doesn't work for you, I totally want you to find out what works for you, but I'm gonna give you the criteria of what to look for. And I'm gonna give you the experience that I was a model and people judged me on what I looked like and judged me that I was too fat or whatever. And I'm gonna, we are girls together, and I don't, and it's so, it's so weird to me that no one ever has made the connection between like hormones and how you look and how you feel and what's going on in your body and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I can't go on hormone replacement because I've had a lumpectomy, which is a whole nother level. Breast cancer and cancers in women, I mean, I've done a lot of research on it, so um, I will share everything I've ever learned and everything I continue to learn. All right, go slay your day, have the best weekend, um, and you can see wider face. I feel prettier, but I know that I'm nice on the inside too, so that's okay. You can be pretty and nice and smart and informed and have a warm heart and share with others. Love you. See you next time.